U G L Y. Please stop calling me AI. That's ugly. That's ugly. Yeah, yeah, I know. We've been over that joke all the time, but it just fit. It just fit. I had to put that one in. All right. All right. Let's get started. Signs to know if you're ugly or not. Story one. Yes, there is one surefire way to know if you're attractive or not. Have you ever received compliments from complete strangers of the opposite gender? That's it. They must be from strangers, not from family or close friends. People who do not know you personally. If you've received them to your face or have been told you are by others more times than you can count on two hands since you were a kid, you are very attractive slash sexy slash beautiful slash hot, etc. Strangers don't know you, so there's no obligation to lie to you. It's sincere and free of subjective bias that can accumulate when someone knows you personally. If you've received a couple since you were a kid, probably can count on one hand or less than two hands, you're above average. Not necessarily top tier, but close to it. You're good looking or really cute rather than hot or sexy or beautiful. If you've received none or at most one or two, you're most likely just plain average. Nothing about you stands out and you blend in. That's not ugly, though. You have features that don't wow or repulse. You're a Honda Civic. You're ugly if you've actually been told you're ugly to your face or overheard someone call you that. You've tried to talk to girls or guys in the past with no intention of flirting or anything and they genuinely acted repulsed or scoffed at you. It's such a blatant negative reaction. It was palpable. The thing is... Most people are not truly ugly. Most people who think they're ugly are really just average. Just like how really beautiful people are rare, actually genuinely ugly people are rare too. I think there's got to be a little leeway in this. This probably pans out in general, but then there are the trolls in this world. For some reason, they'll be willing to tell you to your face that you're ugly when you're not, or maybe they're trying to manipulate you by telling you that you are beautiful. Probably because you hold a position of power and you have some form of gatekeeping that they're trying to get past. What they call the social engineering. Story 2. The fact is, physical beauty and unattractiveness is all relative. Everyone has their own tastes. Crushes are called crushes because more often than not, for all of us, the attraction isn't mutual. There are 8 billion people in the world. Don't get hung up or depressed over a handful. If someone doesn't like you back, it's neither a good or bad thing. It's just simply a thing. It's what you feed it after that either makes it good or bad. True ugly and true beauty are inside. Your soul. Your personality. I don't care if you're the hottest physically attractive woman or man for the ladies. If you have an ugly attitude, you immediately become the grossest thing on earth. Especially if you're putting others down, treating employees and waitstaff like junk, etc. Skinny can be hot as hell. Chubby can be hot as hell. Everyone has their ideal weight where they look their best. And there's no one style, look, haircut, etc. Take breast size. Women make too big of a deal over it. I've always said, big or small, I love them all because they all can be and are sexy. Yet too many women get down on themselves if they have an A or a B cup, which they shouldn't. It's all about how you rock it. And rock out like a rock star, because you are damn beautiful. If a guy or woman has a problem with it, then it's their problem, not yours. Don't make it yours. Just get rid of the person putting you down and find someone who's wholly into you. This is very key. Your attitude can really affect your appearance to others. What good is someone who's physically attracted if they're just going to sulk or not talk or answer in one-word sentences? Especially someone that exudes some sort of aura of fear or disgust. Someone who's actually going to be friendly and fun to be around? That goes a long way. Now, we're not talking about that you'd be a lot prettier if you smiled junk. It's not something that you can get forced upon by other people. It has to be a genuine attitude. Story 3. I'm an average guy, and I manage to get the girlfriends rather easily, but it's mostly thanks to the gym. On the other side, my best friend is a 10 supermodel-looking mother sucker, and it's extremely frustrating to hang out with him. 
He literally gets more attention than a girl. Like when we just walk in the street, there's always several girls coming at him to tell him, Bro, we just wanted to tell you that you are so beautiful. And with my friends, we're just standing without being looked at. Every time he posts random stuff on Instagram, his phone is bombarded by girls' DMs. The worst thing is when we go to clubs and girls start dancing or kissing me, as soon as they see my friend, they're all like, Wait, is this your friend? He's so handsome. And then completely forget about my existence to try to get him. Thankfully, he's a real bro who's very humble and a bit of a jerkwad with girls. So he always answers them with, Okay, so what? Okay, I don't care. Or just push them aside with his hand and leave. He just accepts the absolute perfect girls who work out and have a perfect face. He also often creates fights unintentionally between couples because girls are so attracted to him that they often try to get his Insta or number while the boyfriend is in the same club or room. It's frustrating to have your existence and those of all men in a room get eclipsed by one single guy. And this is your best friend? At least he's humble. It doesn't sound like he rubs his quote-unquote conquests in your face. Does he ever try to wingman for you? As far as getting his Insta or his phone number, that's the kind of behavior guys are always accused of when chasing after women. It's kind of comforting to know that girls can be douchebags like this as well. That behavior is not just guys. Story 4. Hey guys, as someone who was never looked at as being beautiful, not even close to that at all, you can look attractive. You just gotta put the time into it. Try different haircuts. Shave. Don't shave. Shave just a little. Wear clothes that fit you. If your body isn't considered attractive to standards, you can still find clothes that make you look good. I'd suggest looking in thrift shops. Women or men's section don't matter much in these anyways. Take anything that you think looks good and try to make yourself as a style. Guy or girl or envy doesn't matter. You can always try makeup to accent some of your features or to add some. You can even do art with it on your eyes. If you have a big nose or a big forehead, I do, making your eyes the center of attention can make people think you're really attractive as they'll focus their sights on there. Anyways, there's plenty you can do. We may not be born to be hotties by definition, but it's possible to take care of ourselves enough to look good, and then the attractive part comes from your confidence. Hope this helps some. For me, it worked big time. Story 5. In high school and some of my adulthood, every girl who dated me broke up with me within three days. My record was actually five hours from dating to dumped. We talked on the phone, and I asked her out, so I called again later, and she dumped me. I now have a fiancé, and because of my horrible track record with dating and getting dumped my entire life, I'm still trying to get a hang on how to talk to women. I envy the popular men who can strike up an interesting conversation and make it last for hours. So any teenagers reading this, your experience in high school will shape your adult life. It's your choice whether it's for the best or for the worst. Attend therapy and try not to become your parents because they're likely just as broken as you are and don't know any better because they're acting just like their parents and don't even realize it. You can break the cycle. I know you can. It just takes effort. Story 6. My profile is just my favorite hero, but I never thought of it that way. I'm a boring guy and ugly even. When I told my friends I was able to hook up with a chick, they were shocked. But knowing me, we both ghosted each other. I got bored with relationships and she wasn't happy with me. Just last week, I tried courting a girl, but she rejected me. A bit excited before that, but I easily got bored and she rejected me. All that short spark in myself disappeared entirely and we just became friends. Honestly, I feel lonely sometimes, but that's only due to me being lazy and boring. I want to go out on road trips, explore the world, and make friends or eat delicious food. I've been thinking a lot lately and found that the reason why I wanted to have a relationship was because I was bored and tired of my life. Once I get my motorcycle, I'm going to try going on trips. I want to make my life worth it. It's good that he has a plan. I'll give him that. I still think that part of it is the inner attitude. I don't know his current living situation, but if he can bring out 
that adventurous spirit from where he is, then that's going to spill over into other things. Maybe the motorcycle trips will do him some good and help instill that attitude. I still think part of it is bringing that attitude with you no matter where you are. Because that comes from inside. And in turn, that develops confidence. Story 7. On Facebook, I posted a pic of myself which I had never done before because it was a good moment for me after having lost some weight, gained muscle, got a fresh haircut, and decent style of clothes and shoes. Plus, it was a holiday picture, so I was out in the snow with Christmas lights behind me. I was well lit, with the shadows falling in the right places, so I looked more chiseled. No one said a thing, or gave it a like. I thought maybe I had my post settings set to private, but nope. All friends could see my post. After a year of no likes or comments, I took it down and told myself to stop kidding myself. Another sign that I'm ugly is when I try to take a group photo with women I'm with that we've been hanging out for lunch and dinner with, and they move out of the camera view or go behind the camera. That's why all my photos are mostly a me solo. Story 8. When people seem to spontaneously forget that you exist the instant an attractive person enters the room. I resonate with this so absolutely hard. Whenever the moment one of my more better-looking friends enters the conversation I'm having with a few girls, they immediately flock over to him. I get it, he's better looking than me. But you don't have to cut me out of the total conversation like that. It honestly completely hurts when people pull that stuff, just because a better-looking person shows up. Ended up leaving that conversation altogether, walking away, and nobody even noticed. Kinda why I just don't really bother talking to people much anymore these days. Why bother putting in any effort to talking to me if you're just going to ignore me the moment a better-looking person shows up? Like, I'm not trying to flirt with you at all. Just trying to have a genuine conversation and possibly make new friends. Story 9. I, in particular, don't find anyone ugly. I became something like a nihilist. I think appearances are much more complex than a simple characterization like ugly or pretty. I believe that each of us has an individuality which makes us different from each other. This individuality that is a combination of predominant characteristics in our entire being, the color of your hair and even your smell are unique characteristics. And for me, this is beautiful. This is the true beauty of our being. It's a pity that no one is able to see it that way. Instead, they prefer to discuss what today's new all-star is. Oh sure, let's make a list of the most beautiful female human beings on earth and create an event where they parade just to show how beautiful they are. Honestly, sometimes I hate this society. After someone makes this kind of statement bearing their soul, the cheap joke is for some jerk to quip up and say, oh, I bet this person's really ugly. I don't think it makes those criticisms any less valid. And not to say that this person is ugly. Being attracted to someone is built into our physiology. It's part of what helps perpetuate the species. But there are times where we should just stand back and just take a look at what we're actually trying to do. We have the ability to think and reason, too. Story 10. When I was about 8 or 9 years old, my sister took me to a water park in the next town over. I was pretty overweight when I was younger and really weird, so frankly I can understand why this happened. But I was swimming, minding my business, when a girl approached me and asked me out. Because I hadn't hit puberty, girls were still gross for me, so I said no. Later, I found out that she was dared to ask me out by her friends, which should have hurt, but I was pretty much immune to embarrassment, so I thought nothing of it. I bet that girl probably went home more hurt than I should have been. She was dared to ask me out and got rejected. Story 11. When you're at a picture booth at a school party and everyone is taking pictures with everyone, but no one asks you, but someone comes up and takes a picture with you, you're really happy that someone took a picture with you until it gets back to you later that evening that everyone had actually set it up so you don't feel left out. Yep, since deleted the pictures too. I get he was trying to be nice, but man... Imagine spending so long trying to perfect your makeup just to feel good for one day, only to find out that you were simply a social experiment. Even worse is that my friend tried to hide it from me. My mom literally made me cry when she hugged me the following morning. I didn't even have to tell her. 
She just knew from the state of me. God, I love my mom. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 12. It's weird, but in my religion, Islam, we believe that when someone is jealous of a particular thing about you, they give you the evil eye or black eye. When I started high school, I had a glow up and everyone thought I was pretty. I had clear skin, nice hair, big eyes. I was kind of confident, but overall happy with myself. Lots of other girls would look at me with dirty looks or jealous looks, and I felt sad because of it. On my last few months of year seven, I started to become uglier. Puberty ruined my skin, my hair wasn't that nice, my face looked ugly in my opinion, and I was getting shyer. The same girls who gave me those dirty looks now just laughed at my face and acted overconfident in front of me, as if I was some slave. I felt like the black eye catched up to me, and I'm pretty depressed and insecure of my looks. May Allah bless you all, and please protect yourselves from the black eye. That's awful. All that negative attitude she got at the beginning was from girls having some insecurity about themselves. That should not be the cause of some sort of black or evil eye that will actually make you uglier. And if something like that is really the case, that's all the more reason to maintain confidence in yourself. I know, we all want to be socially accepted, but in the end it shouldn't matter what other people think. Story 13. I'm either ugly or scary looking or both. Halfway through puberty I look like a 30 year old and bigger. Never been asked if I'm 21. Even on a rush hour bus, nobody wants to sit by my side or in front of me. Also, every new school classroom, it takes about a week before somebody dares to speak to me. Every time when I ask someone on a date or dance, I get the same answer. With you? Only differences on a facial expression, disgust or horror. Every bar or food place remembers what I ordered. I can just say the usual and they remember exactly my order, even if I visited once three years ago. Just quick stop or takeaway. Once, my buddy was chased by about five or six skinheads. Most have some kind of melee weapon. I blocked them, made them back up, and made them run back where they came from. I have never held hands with someone. Never been hugged or kissed. Never had tried intimacy. And I'm next going to be 46 years old. Story 14. I used to be pretty good looking, or at least normal, in high school. Then growing up, I'm getting uglier, and this stuff is pretty much destroying my self-view. To add some damage in high school, my girlfriend was absolutely beautiful, but she left me and never talked to me again because she realized I was on a decline, and now people ask me how I could stay with her because she's even more gorgeous right now. And again, she was way better than me, even before, but I used to have a big personality and was cool. Well, now my personality is awful because I went through some depression and I'm more and more ugly. This is devastating. But well, at least I can say not all my life has been like that. Or is this the worst? Story 15. Don't know if this counts, but if girls ever give you attention first, but almost 100% of them are very unattractive. Most of my Tinder matches are like that and text first, but I almost never have a girl who I can find at least somewhat attractive. At least I dated about one or two who were good-looking, even slept with them. I know people are going to say to me, Well, at least you have a girl's attention. But this sign resonates with the one where your bro's girlfriend introduces you to her single, ugly friend. It just tells you that those are your only choices you deserve and get. Nothing higher. Guys who are at least average, it's better to talk to people in real life than dating apps. It works for me talking to attractive girls. Story 16. I once picked up a girl that was thumbing for a ride, took her to what I later found out to be her pimp's house. I wasn't asked if I wanted any services. Another time, a girl whom I knew came to my house asking for $5, supposedly for gas. I gave her the money knowing she had developed a substance problem, but was afraid she had really needed gas. Days later, I found out she had performed favors for the other men in the neighborhood for money. I would not have taken either up on offers despite my despair, but it's my extreme personal examples of how attractive impaired I am. Seem more interesting than mentioning the dozen times a girl without provocation told me I was ugly. Story 17. Bro, I actually don't know if I'm ugly or not. <laughs> 
Like many people joke around and say I'm ugly, but I can't relate to any of these stories. Everyone doesn't treat me bad. Quite the opposite, everyone likes my presence. I even have MILF co-workers saying how they love me and stuff to my other co-workers behind my back. Not in a romantic way. Like, you probably wouldn't say that about an ugly mother sucker. <laughs> and girls my age usually turn to me when they want to be comfortable and have someone to trust. But then again, I haven't had a girl, and I'm mostly the butt of the joke when it comes to ugly jokes. I'm overweight, so probably that? Or maybe I just got a good personality. <laughs> I got no idea. Story 18. In high school, I had a crush on a guy since fifth grade. One day, his friend came to me and told me that he might like me and that he was too shy to let me know. So for a whole school week, his friend set me up to sing in front of him, complete with a highly attractive classmate, talked to him every single day. Then on the last day, I got fed up and decided to pass him a note asking if any of this was real. He took the paper, scribbled something, and gave the paper back to me. I went to my locker and opened the note which read, No. Sorry. It was just a joke. Never felt so stupid. Story 19. So I have this friend group of a guy and two other girls. One is very pretty. The other one is nice but very overweight. I remember how the attractive girl for some reason kept telling me how she would never sleep with me or be my girlfriend because we're such good friends. I found out she slept with the other dude about a month ago and they never told anyone. I found out from him because we're best buds. I'm not really jealous of him or mad, it just shows that there's no such thing as a too good friend. You either ugly or nah. Anyway guys, see ya in the gym. Story 20. I knew a girl who used to spend time with me. She liked me as a friend. We used to go out not so often and talk every night. One day, a guy from my class who used to bully her suddenly decided to tell her he loves her, and a few days after, she started hanging up our calls to go talk to him. I only knew because I could hear him in the background. We didn't talk much from that point on, as she often came to sit on his lap while we were all playing cards on the school lunch tables. Story 21 I've always thought it was pretty ugly, but now I'm confused. I'm probably not ugly, just average, because throughout the years in school, there have been girls who found me attractive. Hell, in middle school, one girl admitted to liking me, and another girl in my class I later found out liked me too and another girl during high school that I was familiar with because we had both had the same class in fourth grade admitted that she had a crush on me back then. This was when I started pondering, damn, am I actually ugly or do I just have low self-esteem? Story 22. I'm 21. Never been asked out. Never even been complimented by someone who wasn't a close friend. Still got my hand-holding virginity. I'm not fat or anything, and I used to be plenty social. I'm not anymore. Only compliment I ever did get doesn't count because it was a dare. I've been proactive before and asked people out to be clear. I don't expect people to fall in my lap either, but always got rejected. Story 23. As someone who was a late bloomer, the best thing I did was get a trade job and stop worrying about stuff. All of a sudden, I realized that looks are a schoolyard thing. Being a good human, not a little kiss butt and having a backbone, if you got weird hobbies, be proud of them, but don't let it define you. All of a sudden, your confidence will be the most attractive thing. Keep your head up, y'all. Story 24. One time, I was really having a bad day and was feeling especially insecure about my looks. So my friend tried to cheer me up by saying nice things about me, which did help me a bit. She then turned to a girl in my class who was quite popular and fairly attractive, asked her if she thought I was pretty. The girl took one look at me and laughed and said nothing else. Story 25 Man, sometimes when I friend zone someone, it's because I genuinely love their friendship and relationships can really mess it up. For us girls especially, it makes us feel like you weren't really a friend. You were just waiting to pounce and that makes us feel like objects. I don't want a friend who is constantly waiting for a shot. Clearly, that friendship didn't mean what it meant to me. Story 26 when a woman you think is ugly looks at you, then to all her girlfriends and says, Look, it's a butt's face. Hurt my confidence for a few years. Then started going bald, changed my style and my tone, and am content with my lot. 
Time to improve and appreciate those other qualities I really enjoy and love out of life. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.